What do you want? Hmm? Girl? Boy? You sent for me? Yes, I did. You're a good Spaniard, but you're not that good. You could be magnificent. I'm required to kill, so I kill. That is enough. That's enough for the provinces, but not for Rome. The young emperor has arranged a series of spectacles to commemorate his father, Marcus Aurelius. I find that amusing, since it was Marcus Aurelius, the wise, the all-knowing Marcus Aurelius that closed us down. So finally, after five years of scratching a living in flea-infested villages, we're finally going back to where we belong. The Colosseum. Oh, you should see the Colosseum, Spaniard. 50,000 Romans. What? Every movement of your sword. Willing you to make that killer blow. The silence before you strike. And the noise afterwards. It rises. It rises up like, 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 like a storm. As if you were the thunder god himself. You were a gladiator. Yes, I was. You won your freedom? A long time ago, the Emperor presented me with a rudius. It's just a, a wooden sword, a symbol of your freedom. He, he touched me on the shoulder, and I was free. <laughs> You knew Marcus Aurelius. I did not say I knew him. I said he touched me on the shoulder once. You ask me what I want. I too want to stand in front of the Emperor. As you did. Then listen to me. Learn from me. I wasn't the best because I killed quickly. I was the best because the crowd loved me. When the crowd and you'll win your freedom. I will win the crowd. I will give them something they've never seen before. <laughs> so, Spaniard, we shall go to Rome together and have bloody adventures. And the great whore will suckle us until we are fat and happy and can suckle no more. And then, when enough men have died, Perhaps you will have your freedom. Here, use this.